I think it's going to be a real deep draft, the deepest draft that I've been through in my five years here. So we're looking forward with our four picks to uh, the uh, in the first four, first 91 to get uh, some good players. Obviously, we know your scouts are out there beating the bushes, seeing a lot of games, following a lot of reports. Beyond the basics, what are you looking for from those guys? Well, we look to add value uh, to our organization. You know, the, the strength of the minor league system, uh, you know, it's important to build your major league club through your strong farm system. So we're trying to add value into the, into the farm system. And the draft is the best way to do that. We get to add 41 players this year. So we're looking for the top talent and, and to make good investments in that talent. Right. And so uh, give us a sense of the last few weeks. I know you had some meetings in Dallas with your area scouts, and now you're bringing uh, your, your uh, uh, cabinet, if you will, uh, here to Baltimore, right? Right, right. Yeah, they'll all be here. We'll start on Friday. Uh, the first thing, we, we meet with our doctors and go over the health questionnaires with, uh, with all of the players and all the prospects so that we know exactly what we're going to be working with and the risk that's involved with some of those players because obviously we do like a lot of them. So um, we'll start with that and then we'll talk about the players that we like. What strategy do you have for those first four picks in the first 91 overall? Well, we're going to target the best players that we can get when it's our turn to pick. You know, picking 27 down in the draft, there's really no way to know what's going to be there. But um, we, we, we kind of whittled it down to maybe a half a dozen players so that we can have an idea what we might be looking at when it's our turn to pick. Uh, but there's still no guarantee. I mean, players slide down the list for various reasons all the time, and we just want to be prepared for those guys if they do fall on our lap. Can you explain to the viewers some of the differences? And I think they're vast between the NFL draft, which gets so much publicity, and the MLB draft, which is starting now to get publicity. In the NFL, teams drafts for specific needs often. Is that not what happens in the MLB draft? Well, I think the MLB draft is a little more unique just because we have a minor league system. You know, and it takes a lot of development in, in our young players to, to produce big leaguers. So I think that's one of the main differences. Um, you know, we're looking for talent just like they are, but it takes our talent longer to get to the highest level. So you're not looking, you, Dan, and Buck, at the Orioles' current roster saying, we need this in Baltimore in the next year or two when you make your picks. No, we don't ever do that because things can change with one deal. I mean, a need could be not a need next week. Whereas, you know, if we're looking at, especially drafting a high school kid, we're looking at four or five years of development before they're even ready. That might not be a need four or five years from now. So we're just after the best talent that we can get when it's our turn to pick. High school or college, do you have a preference? No, I like both, actually. I, I don't think you can eliminate one one part of the draft. You can. you got to take the next best player, whether that's a college player or a high school player. Uh, we're open to both. And pitcher, position player, same way. We just want the best best guy we can get.